Hi guys, it's Elizabeth Pfeiffer from ElizabethPfeiffer.com and today's question comes from our Soulful Shift Kickers group on Facebook and it's about <clears throat> struggling with the shift that's going on right now. And the question was, there feels like there's a heavy negative cloud. I know it's temporary, but the question is, is this the shift? And is it part of getting rid of the old so that new can come in? Kind of like um, the calm before the storm <clears throat> or it gets worse before it gets better. Well, it's a really interesting question. So here's how we perceive shift. So when you are experiencing energetic downloads or shift, imagine for a moment that your energy, your beliefs, your system is like a murky swamp. And the shift is a bunch of backcos coming in and they're dropping their <clears throat> scoopers all the way down into the bottom of the swamp in order to dredge up and bring out um, all of the pieces that have been limiting you. All of the mindset beliefs, all of the old energy, all of the old trauma, drama, pain, suffering, all that garbage. And what you've been doing in the swamp is <clears throat> has been everything that's come in that's been too difficult to handle or too emotional or too much. You've just kind of been throwing in this swamp and it's just been falling to the bottom of the swamp and you're just pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down. And so when you're ready to release these pieces, <clears throat> the backhoes come in and they're like, okay, let's dig it out. So now the backhoes kind of drop their their hooks or their scoopers all the way down to the bottom of the swamp where you've been pushing all of this stuff down and they're scooping it up and they're bringing it all to the surface <clears throat> so that it can then be lifted out of the swamp and taken away. So all of those pieces that you've been pushing down, pushing down, pushing down is being dug up. Uh, when shift comes in, when the energy comes in. So it is being dug up and pulled up. And that pulling up process, um, the negativity, the sadness, the depression, the um, burst of tears, the anger, the frustration, all of that is that process of those backhoes kind of coming in and digging up the muddy, sludgy stuff that you've been holding down in the swamp and pulling it all up to the surface. And as you, as this pull is happening, you're watching it. You're watching them pull it up, pull it up, and you're seeing and, and feeling all of those pieces that you didn't want to feel or see before. And so <clears throat> that is the kind of shift, the calm before the storm that's coming up. Um, but it's coming up for you to look at. It's processing. So what that means is as it's coming up and you're feeling it and you're seeing it, um, you're also maybe experiencing it. But what you're experiencing is the backcoes coming in and lifting it up and out of your field. So what is the best way to um, have that transition happen without so much angst? Well, here's what happens. A lot of people <clears throat> stuff all that down and then the backhoes come in and they lift it up and they're, the backhoes are like, we're lifting it, it's clearing, it's clearing. And a lot of you, what you do is you jump back on the backhoes and you're like, no, keep it down, keep it down, keep it down. I don't want to see it. I don't want to feel it. Keep it down, keep it down. And the backhoes are like, Arr. and you're like, no. And they're like, Arr. and you're like, no. And we call that resistance. <laughs> So the more you resist, right, the harder the backo has to work. It's almost as if <clears throat> it has to even hit you harder in order for you to get to release the energy. So here's the thing. Number one, have some um, awareness and discernment that the backos are coming in and they're lifting it out. And what you're seeing, number two, what you're seeing is all of the muck from the bottom of your swamp coming up and releasing. So what you want to do when that happens 
is try to take a neutral position. Um, so looking at it as the observer going, okay, I'm feeling really negative and angry and sad and depressed. And allow yourself to feel that as it lifts out. Because if you're able to do that, then the backhoes can come in and just be like, Whoosh, we're out of here. But if you keep holding it down, no, 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 then it takes longer. So have the awareness that it's coming up and it's leaving. It's not something that's happening to you all over again. It's something that's clearing for you. So when you get caught in that negativity, the sadness, the depression, the first thing you want to do, it's going to sound like really nuts, but the first thing you want to do is be like, yeah, it's leaving, you know, and get really excited about the fact that you feel like crap because that is all of the energy that's leaving and being, you know, dug up from the swamp and being pulled out. So when you have those types of experiences, where, when you're having that shift, you really do want to honor it. If you're, um, <clears throat> if you feel sad, feel sad because what it'll do is it'll move through your body and go out faster. If you want to feel angry, um, you know, honor that, but then move out of anger because anger is that I'm going to hold on to it um, type of feeling. But allow those energies to kind of come in, honor them and let them go out. Don't resist them. Um, a lot of things that you can do, uh, there are interventions to help you. You can do Epsom salt baths, helps release a little bit more clear uh, essential oils, um, can also help Bach flower re uh, remedies, um, especially walnut. Walnut is, and rescue, um, they have a combination of energies to kind of keep you present on task, meditation, yoga, breathing exercises, visualizations to release the resistance. All of these things are things that you can, um, you can employ. But here's the thing, okay? The thing is, is that you have to go within and make that connection with your essence, with your soul. And be okay with the fact that these pieces are coming up and maybe they don't feel so good, but they're coming up and embrace them because they're leaving. And when that backhoe comes out of the sludge and it comes all the way up through your fields and it lands on the bank next to you, complete and finished, your vibration raises. There is that energy of joy and happiness and balance that comes in afterwards. The place where we get stuck is resisting the shift. So the more you can be in alignment with that energy that's coming up and moving and not get bogged down into the, I don't feel good, everything is miserable, I'm angry at the world, I'm frustrated, and walk around in that energy for a week, okay, because that's holding those backhoes down. Um, if you can move out of it faster, you'll move out of that negative cloud a lot faster as well. So it really is, in, it is up to you. Can you embrace those pieces that are coming up, allow them to um, release, don't resist them. Don't get caught up in the victim. And it really is a conscious mindset. You have to really talk yourself into it sometimes, like going, okay, okay, it's releasing. You know, remind yourself, it's releasing, it's releasing. Two days tops, it's going to be gone. So I'm just going to release and take care of myself. Embrace it. Bring more awareness into your alignment, into the connection of your essence. And of course, our most spiritual phrase, let it go. <laughs> so we hope you found that, one, that to be helpful. If so, leave us some comments and uh, feel free to share on your social networks. Don't forget to stop by our Soulful Shift Kickers groups if you're not a member and join us where we talk about all kinds of mind shift. See you there. Bye.